Um, okay, we are going to move along here on your legislators. Um, question here, uh, are you going to pass a bill for wage increases for people who work with others with disabilities, both mm -hmm. physical and mental? Uh, this individual says we can't get enough staff hired mm -hmm. because they work mm -hmm. elsewhere for more money. So, where do we sit? Phyllis? Again, uh, clearly we should, I think we increased, them, uh, we increased that a little bit last year and I, we goals. need to move, we need to move up on that. We also need to move the um, MFIP, the family, uh, um, family program up also. You know, we, we it's, it, it, in, in the, uh, in the long-term sense, it just makes sense to be able to keep people in, to not have to have them replaced all the time. So I totally support right. that. Senator? Well, it's, it, the theme has been the 5%. Mm -hmm. and uh, Better Life Alliance, I think. A what Better Life it. Alliance. It's I don't changing. think it's going to end up at 5%, but I think we'll try to get it couple percentages in there. You think. see the same challenges out west? Well, absolutely. You know, I think uh, the last budget uh, that the, the Senate and the House put together and the governor, uh, we put over $138 million into nursing homes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's made a big difference. Uh, sure. You had a lot in uh, probably across the state, really kind of a cost of delivery uh, was probably the biggest way it was kind of calculated. And so it really meant, you know, for some places, 600000 mm -hmm. to a $1 million more per location. And uh, a lot of those dollars went straight into, you know, recruiting of staff, whether you be an LPN, RN, uh, uh, certified nursing assistant, you know, all the rest. And I think part of that's the training, too, is trying to, you know, we talked, that was the first question of, of how do you kind of get people up off of welfare. Mm -hmm. And, right. you know, it's those training programs, you know, there's a strong uh, program in Marshall to, to really see, you know, try to get those folks kind of baseline. How do you get them working? How do you get them to treat people well? And uh, I think the question really is with working with the disabled. So that would be like the group homes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so just yeah. as much of those That's are... That's where the five... Yeah, so right. the 5% would be yeah. for the group homes. And, and so they, they kind of work out of the same you know, pot of folks. So right. the same people that are passionate about serving people, whether it be in a nursing home, are the same people that are per passionate about serving people in a group home. And so when the wages change dramatically for nursing homes, it puts these, this group as a, at a disadvantage when it comes to recruitment. Does, so, does Ghent have a nursing home? We do not. We, okay. I've got a but, lot of them. But it's, a, but it's yeah. little towns yeah. like that Absolutely. that have nursing homes where it's it's one of the biggest industries, mm -hmm. right? The biggest, biggest industry. employer. Yeah, yeah. That, that, you know, it's really important. Just to, uh, you know, we uh, Senator Dames and I, who you yeah. serve with, yeah, yeah. Uh, we just went for a tour uh, through, I think, the Madison uh, uh, nursing home, and that was built many years ago, and had, I think, at its peak, like 160 beds. Yeah. And today, it's in the mid 80s or 90, you know, 70s or 80s, and so the cost and the, just the style of care has changed so so much when it comes to dealing with the silver tsunami. Okay. Yeah. So the average stay used to be six months or eight months or a year. Now it's really being cut down so that it's really during those those last few years and last few months, really, uh, that where maybe families can't take care of them, they can't keep them in the home, that they do finally kind of relent and, and allow really the, the yeah. And then there's the that problem, up. do you mention facilities, the aging facilities, mm -hmm. and how do you correct them with ride services in the 21st century? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. 